Good afternoon, my name is Scott Mallory. I'm the Director of Golf at Journey at Pechanga in Temecula, California. And this is my SCGA swing tip for the day. What I'm gonna to talk to you about today is what I call the hip knee move. And what that basically is, is from the top of our swing, what we do with our bodies, getting back to the left side and for our left-handers, back to the right side with our bodies. And what I call the hip knee move is this hip and this knee and what it does from the top of our swing. And as you'll see earlier, okay, in some of our swings and some of my swings is that little movement back to the left side. A lot of us really, really struggle with this. And this is what I'm gonna to talk to you about with regards to getting yourself back to your left side for our right-handers, covering the golf ball and all the way to our left side with a follow through. Primarily, the big thing at the top of our swing, okay, is that we have to make sure we get ourselves back to our left side. And I think the hip and the left knee is a indicator of what gets back to the left side first, okay? And from the top of our swing, gotta make sure that our bodies move to our left side first. You gotta realize one thing, the speed of the club going back, okay, is a lot slower than the speed of the club coming back down. And in my swings, you'll see this. The one thing that I really look at with my students and how I really teach, okay, with this process and this fundamental, is I look off the left hip, and what I'm trying to do is look at something behind the left hip with regards to the space. And if I'm taking the club back, I've probably created some space right there. I don't want to see that, okay, and I don't want to see that, because everybody calls that a sway, which it is. We are getting right to the top of our swing. We are transferring back to where we were, basically at a dress and maybe a little ahead, and that's when the pivot out comes out and all the way to that left side. So with regards to that, make sure you get to the top of your swing. Your first motion is a little bump laterally and then pivot out and swing through. Make sure that you do this with in your swing and in tandem. It's not a situation where you're trying to jerk through it. Make sure that you get right through here. It's a little motion and movement and pivot out. Let me demonstrate for you one more time and I'll hit a couple shots. And what you'll see with this swing is a little space off my left hip created with that golf bag behind me. I'll get back down through impact. I cover that and then pivot out and then swing through, hit the golf ball, and a good follow through. Again, thank you very much for being with us today. My name again is Scott Mallory, Director of Golf at Journey of Pechanga, and this was your SCGA Swing Tip. Thanks for tuning in to one of our SCGA Swing Tips. For more of those, click up here. Or you can check out our other series, Fit Tips, down here.